Yo, hey, what's up, guys? This is part two of how I organize my comic book collection. What I want to go ahead and do, guys, step it up a little bit from the pace from my last video, part one, and actually show you guys how I actually store or at least enter in a comic book into this database. So let me go ahead and start off, guys. I want to enter in the X-Men number 102 comic book into my collection, okay? So the first thing I need to do, I need to open up a new uh, entry. I type in X-Men, issue number 102. Then I open up a web page, which I'll show you here, of the comic book collector website, the database. Now I'm looking for the actual X-Men number 102. so I can actually extract the data off their website and import it into my database. Right here. And of course some of you may know 102 is uh, an appearance with Juggernaut. So I copy the URL, go back to my program, go to the links tab, Add new link, paste that in there, close it. So there it is, it's in my database now. Now what I need to do is I need to update that link. Open it once again, hit update. Um, this one comes up with various different X-Men issue, X-Men 102 issues. So I need to choose the right one. Uncanny X-Men volume number one, issue 102, who will stop the juggernaut. I link that to my entry. I hit OK, bam, there it is. That's how easy it is, guys. Now, I can back, I can go back in and edit this entry. Uh, for example, if I want to add a different cover, um, if I want to add a back cover, if I want to go in and add a synopsis or a plot, change it up a little bit since there's already one here, I can do so. Plus, I can update you know, whatever creators or um, uh, characters that are actually in the comic, I can update that list too. But I'm pretty simple, like I mentioned in my last video, and I keep it I keep it basically plain. <laughs> One thing that I do update, guys, in my entry um, is the condition and how much I purchased it for. This way, if I want to go back 15 years or you know, say 10 years in the future, and want to figure out, you know, if I'm trying to sell my collection, how much how much I actually paid for it, it'll list it here, telling me, okay, Rick, well you paid 100 bucks for it. Um, it's 20 years now and it's worth, you know, 150. So you're making a $50 profit. So with this one, for an example, um, the condition, it's about near mint. Here it is, guys, right here. It's in very, very, very good condition. I would have to say, you know what? I take it back, not near mint. I would have to say very fine. You know, to give it a kind of a moderate type of, you know, just, I don't want to put high hopes in there for me or say my daughter in 30 years. Now I have to say it's very fine and I paid 45 bucks for it. Only because it's in really really good condition. I don't you can you have an option here to put the current value if you want to look in a price guide and check to see how much it's worth, but I don't do that because these these uh price guides usually come out, you know, every year and to go through, you know, all of your comic books to update the price guide, I don't really do that. So um, that's it guys, and you can also give it a reading. See these stars right here? If you want to give it a star reading, um, I believe there's 10 stars. This one I'll give about 5 or 6. It wasn't that great, but it was cool that because Juggernaut, of course, is one of my favorite characters. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how easy it is to um, update your database with comic books. Um, another thing I do want to show you guys is now, from once this is updated, how to push it over to your mobile device or iPad. In this scenario, I want to go ahead and show you how I update my uh, iPad with this database. Okay, so the first thing you do, go to File, Export, CLZ Comics, Mobile Application, click on that. This little box will pop up. What this box is actually asking for, it's wanting to search and find any mobile devices on your home network. And here it is for an example. Let me pull this up. It's looking for my iPad. 
your mobile device has to be on the same network as your desktop or laptop, meaning it has to be tied in to the same Wi-Fi or networking device, meaning you know a switch, if you have a little switch um, at home that you plug in your computers to. It has to be basically on the same network so it can actually find your mobile device. So in this instance, what we're going to do, we're going to hit refresh. And because I have my iPad on my wireless network with my laptop, it's able to find. Oh, before you actually do that, I'm sorry guys, we need to hit this little button here. There's a little button, an update, an import button that I click on in my iPad, and it pulls up this box. I guess it's kind of like an open, it opens up a, a, a port probably in your iPad, so these two can communicate to each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit this refresh now again on my laptop. It's looking, boom, it found it right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's my iPad. Now it gives you a couple options. You can actually um, export your whole database, or you can just do selected comics. And another option is you can replace it. Say if you have a new database, you did a whole different one, you can replace the database on here with this one, or you can just update. What I usually do, I replace it. Um, I hit export and boom, there it goes. Nothing yet on my iPad. I'll show you in a bit. A few more seconds. Okay, collection successfully exported. Now on here, it's updating, as you can tell. Now, I'm assuming so if you just hit update instead of export um, or replace entire collection, the update will probably go much faster, um, which I need to start doing. I don't even know why I did that update all. <laughs> but anyways, here it is, successfully imported. Hit OK. Boom. So I have all of my comic books here on my iPad. Now again, guys, I'm not too quite sure if you uh, remember from my first video, part one, but it's a really good thing to have, especially if you're going to comic book conventions, comic book stores, and you don't remember what you have in your collection. Okay, so on my iPad, let me go back over here. There is a search button, which I can actually search um, an artist's name. Let's go ahead and try, or even... um. um yeah, let's try an artist, Humberto Ramos. Hit search. So it pulls up all of my Humberto Ramos covers. So that's perfect, especially if there's an artist coming into town, you want to get his autograph, boom. Do a quick search. And also you can do, you can do um, um, tag names or tag words. If there's something special like first appearance or uh, character appearance, you can actually input that into your database on your computer and then it exports all of your taglines so you can actually do searches on here so again guys that's pretty much it I won't go any further because I don't want to bore you guys but it's a really cool tool to have if you have a large comic book collection or you're just starting out because if you're just starting out it allows you to update you know you don't have to go in a few months later and like I am a few months later and have to update four or five hundred comic books you can all do it as you buy so check it out guys I really recommend it that's how I organize my collection in future segments I want to go ahead and do videos on how I collect what I collect and what I use in my collection of comic books so until then guys thanks for watching I hope this video was useful for some of you um, leave some suggestions comments they're all welcomed until then guys peace